hello guys and welcome to a brand new video so uh in this video today i decided to make a reaction of fate prototype now i was thinking like you know this week like every week i put out one fgo or fate related content something or anything you know be it amv reactions or other stuff so i was thinking what to do this week and i kind of remembered that i have never actually watched a few things fate related which i should have watched for example fate prototype you know like to, which i'm going to react to in this video it's like a 12 minute episode i think and there are a few other things that i have not watched for example uh fate granddaughter the anime I, i'm talking i'm not talking about babylonia i'm talking about i've watched babylonia i'm talking about um uh the uh, the, the first episode i think it's called the first order you know like obviously i've played fgo on on mobile i know the story but i've not actually watched the anime the first order or i think there's another ova which is i think it's called lost what something lost room or something like that i can't remember it but there's there's like two things fate grand order related uh, which are like standalone episodes and i like you know i've never watched them so i was thinking like let me do this in like you know the upcoming few weeks so this today i'm going to react to fate prototype uh in the upcoming weeks i'll probably like you know react to fate grand grand order first order and the other ova as well within the upcoming few weeks so that's like basically i thought like yeah let's do these because like you know these are the only things that i've not watched which is related to fate in anime format so yeah so today i'm here with fate prototype uh this is like a 12 minute video i think and uh, i'm guessing this like gives us the introduction and all that i know about fate prototype is that this is something that uh like, you know was uh what can i say the origin of fate uh stay night or something like that like this was like the the author like decided to make this first but then they changed it in the future i think so this is like the original of everything i i think so it's that's that's what this is about because it's called fate prototype i'm completely not sure about it but i think that is actually what this is and then i think they actually changed i'm i'm, I'm not sure about it i think they changed the designs and you know they made um arthur female and uh, like you know all the other different characters as well like kukulin kukulin got a little uh you know up, like what do you call it? change in his appearance all that stuff happened so this is the original and i know this here we i will like you know arthur is a male and you know this i'm guessing Goo prototype is also here so i'm quite interested to see what like you know what this is like and how this was actually planned in the beginning so yeah let's get started uh, like you know my uh, like you know my uh, knowledge about fate prototype characters are from fate grand order kuhul in prototype and Arthur prototype, all of, like you know, those are the only people, like you know, characters, servants that I know. So let's check this out. I'm quite interested to what this, to see what this is about. So yeah, uh, without further ado, let's get started. And since this is like an anime like episode, I'll be uh, using my usual format, reaction format. I'll be giving a timer over here, and the video will be blurred and there'll be no audio. So if you want to, uh, like you know, watch it with me, you can just sync your video to my to the timer that I'm going to provide. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. And I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer over here, sync it to whichever is your preference. And let's get started with this video. Whew, all right, let's go. Uh, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. They raise not the dead. Dead, they cannot recover, lost. Greatest miracle only affect the living. Oh, it's train station? Yeah. Wait, is that Gilgamesh? No, wait. Is that Gilgamesh? Tajo Ayaka. And that's Arthur, isn't it? Yeah, that looks like Gilgamesh. 
but the voice act is completely different that's why i wasn't able to actually they cannot be completely confirmed that this is a yeah this is the same gil it is gilgamesh there you go oh wait arthur versus gilgamesh oh interesting Oh, I'm guessing this is a master. Uh, what was her name? Ayaka? Uh, that's what? Taijo. I have a table. What? Show off. Oh my god! Oh my... Is, is she, is she, she's, she's amazed, that means. I think so. Because... Ah, uh, no. Please don't. Okay. Well... Oh, she, there you go. She didn't kill. Alright, she is a mage. Unlike Shiro, you know, Shiro was also kind of like a mage, but still. Dio's voice actor. I think so. Oh, is this like Kire's, like you know, um, I think so, he, he, he's like fulfilling Kire's position. Damn. Oh, whoa. My god, what the? Oh, there you go, who will in? Huh. What, what are those feathers? Yeah. Okay, so she's like a full-fledged mage. Uh, there you go, Arthur and Dragon. Whoa! What the? Oh no! Oh, the curse! I think that's what. Wait. Whoa! Oh, okay, wait a minute. I think Avalon is within her, just like how it was within Shiro. Because it wouldn't. Like that's the only explanation I can, I think. Otherwise, who William stabbed her, but she's still. All right, there you go. <laughs> Boy. Oh, wait, oh my god, he just broke Arthur looks a little bit different. He looks kind of baby-faced. I don't know. It might be me. But... Yeah, like... Oh, I think that's it. Wow, the six powers. Is that the command spell?
Damn, Gilgamesh looks amazing in this form. Yeah, I think those are command spells. Whoa. Yeah, those are the command spells. Okay. Okay, wait, what? Lord's glory. Wait, who's this? This author isn't it? So is this the sister? Yeah. I think so. I think that's act this. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, Gilgamesh actually uses a bow here. <laughs> well, damn. Oh, my God. As usual, Gilgamesh is as as flashy as ever. <laughs> wow. I think that is Gilgamesh. I'm just like, kind of basing it on his appearance. It might be someone completely else. No, that is Gilgamesh. I don't think that's someone else. Okay. Oh, no, yeah. It's Gilgamesh. <laughs> Damn. Anata wa watashi no master. I think it's going to start like. Okay, never mind. I thought she, he was going to say the same. I think he was going to say the same thing that, you know, uh, the female Arthur said to Shiro. Are you my master? Damn, that's like one of the most iconic scenes of fate. You know, like Saber standing and Shiro just sitting down. And there's like a little moonlight is coming and Saber just stands there and she's like, Are you my master? Boy. Okay, um, that's it. So, okay. Um, now, here's the thing. So does this, is this like a... Um, like i know that this is something that was like decided before but they kind of made changes and we have the fate we have now but this was like the initial designs and everything so is this just like this or did fate's author actually uh like you know make this into separate series like does this have like a light novel a manga or some or anything else or this is just like an incomplete uh thing that you know um i think nasu that's yeah like he decided to just you know like make it and then made changes and did not go forward with this version is it something like that or does this actually have like a separate series like let me know in the comment section because like um a few of the characters here for example we already know kuhulin from uh kuhulin prototype from fate grand order like we have him there and we also have saber uh, like you know uh, arthur prototype in fate grand order as well so i wonder why did they not add gilgamesh to fate grand order i'm talking about gilgamesh prototype you know because like gilgamesh is a is an extremely popular servant so i think they could have just added him did couldn't they like you know just just like make um a four star version of a gilgamesh prototype like like i'm curious why did they not do that like 
wait a minute um wait now that i think about it <laughs> gilgamesh only has one variant now that i'm thinking about it like okay wait a minute master degree is the first set of him oh there's something left what the who the hell is this is that someone who loves savor is that wait a minute wait what was uh, just say uh is that um the, the the girl we saw in the end the person who's just like you know like who was that like the only person i can f i feel like who, who could that be like who loves saber so much either guinevere or who else i don't know maybe more no not morgan more that's definitely not morgan i don't know like the only person who kind of i feel like it is it, it might be, i don't know anyways let me know if you guys know who that person is in the end because i doubt we'll get more stuff of fate prototype so there's no actually like you know like fears of getting spoiled because you know like this is just it and since i don't uh read light novels and like you know like i probably won't go in that direction so let me know in the comment section who that character is in the end the, the girl we see i think it's pro it's most probably guinevere isn't it i might be wrong but if, uh, anyways okay the thing that i was saying like now that i think about it um gilgamesh has no variant like so many servants have so many variant you know like gilgamesh has only one variant but that's just someone completely different let's get gilgamesh but that's someone completely different like i'm thinking about it now and i'm, I'm very surprised actually like gilgamesh is such a popular servant so I, I i would have thought that he would have at least one variant like you know of some different class and it as, as i said like you know like even ku hulin has his prototype in you know uh, in fate uh, grand order you know and uh, even ku hulin has like um some variants like ku alter uh ku hulin prototype ku hulin uh, caster and so it's very surprising that gilgamesh never has has does not have a variant and uh, like you know they did not even add his prototype version in fate grand order that's quite surprising i have to say because here after watching this um gilgamesh looks i think this design is even cooler than his current design you know maybe it's just me but i really like the way gilgamesh is here you know with the little long hair and you know like and especially the the when the time when we see he's like wearing his armor his armor looks cool so cool and it's it's just like you know i i think this 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 design is so much i don't know like i think this is even better than his gilgamesh's original design like i love gilgamesh's original design not original design but the, the design that he has now but this prototype design is it's, it's something else i really like this so i wonder why they never added in fate grand order but yeah okay so here from this episode we can see that now a few things i actually uh like you know noticed here first of all the characters are actually um you know like for example we have a female master here unlike shiro who is a male um that's why the you know the main servant here is a male which is arthur pendragon while in you know like in the uh in fate's day night it's arthur pendragon female um gilgamesh is gilgamesh we, we can see that kuhulin is kuhulin so it's kind of the same with a little change in design and those were the only characters that i were able to recognize and one thing i also realized here is just like how in fate stay nine gilgamesh was smith not smitten but really was kind of like you know like uh wanted to take saber as his wife you know like Art artoria as his wife here the last few um, conversation that we were hearing you know uh i think it was actually gilgamesh talking who said that uh, after killing you saber i'll take um 
I think that Ayaka was her name. Was it Ayaka? Uh, just a second. Uh, Ayaka, Ayaka Saijo. Sai, Sai yeah, uh, he was saying that I'll take Ayaka as my queen. So it's kind of the same situation, isn't it? Like here is, is male Gilgamesh. So male Gilgamesh is like, you know, saying that I'll make Ayaka the queen, which is the master here. Unlike Fate's Day Night, where Gilgamesh was like, you know, like, you no know, wanted to make Saber. Uh, his queen or whatever <laughs> so it's interesting like it's kind of the same in that way uh, another thing that I saw here is uh, the guy with the flowers you know uh, in front of the um, graveyard uh, who comes and just tells Ayaka that oh you have to get involved in this you know like you can't run stuff like that he was saying um, I think this is this guy is probably taking Kirei's position, isn't it? Like, you know, like he, he looks like, I don't know, some kind of uh, father, I think. And I think he is probably taking Kirei's position here. I might be wrong though, but his vibe kind of gives me that feeling. Just like, you know, like how, just like how Kirei kind of, <laughs> in Fate Stay Night, Kirei kind of like, you know, like, like tells Shiro that, yeah, you have to get involved in this. Like, you know, you can just stay, like, you know, like, uh, you can just stay out of this war or you can just, you, or you can get involved in it. It's your choice. If you stay out of the war, I'll protect you. But if you decide to join this war, you're on your own. It's stuff like that he said in Fate Stay Night. So it kind of seems like this, this guy here. And I, I feel like this guy is probably in Kirei's position in Fate Prototype. And... Another interesting thing here is that uh, the first battle that we see uh, Ayaka fight is again Lancer that is Ku Hulin and um, you know like and Arthur comes and stops that so again the first contact here with the servant the master the, the Ayaka that makes contact with the enemy servant is Ku Hulin just like in Fate Day Night where Shiro meets the first servant which is Ku Hulin and Ku Hulin kind of kills him and Rin brings him back. So yeah, another thing that I noticed here is I might be wrong about this though, but we see that Ku Hulin actually kind of impale Ayaka and then suddenly something happens and uh, like, you know, the, uh, the, the circuits, the mage circuits kind of pop out and Arthur comes out. So I'm guessing the reason why she was not killed at that moment was probably because Avalon was inside her. This is just completely guess in my part because otherwise it doesn't make sense because he, she gets stabbed and she should have died but she did not die and Arthur kind of came out. So the only thing that probably would explain this is that she has Avalon inside her just like Shiro had it. And you know like Avalon has like his superior heal healing pro properties. The person who is embedded in won't die uh, it'll be very difficult to kill that person so that's why i'm guessing um, ayaka was able to uh well we did not die at that scene and arthur just came out and saved her so but this is complete guesswork on my part you know yeah so it's just something that i think another change in this you know in this anime is that Ayaka is a full-fledged mage I think you know she's like doing stuff with bloods and everything and just you know like doing full mage craft unlike Shiro who is who was a mage but he, he only like you know like tried reinforcement magic in the beginning and you know she, he just practiced that unlike Ayaka here who we can see that you know like the place where he she kind of uh, tries to kill the birds she has a lot of stuff there you know like a lot of potions and everything a uh, lot of bottles so I'm guessing that's like her workshop or something and uh, again this is again guesswork on my part I might be wrong so yeah that was all that was shown here and then we get some little glimpses of parts where we see a lot of characters unfortunately i wasn't able to actually relate them with others because we see this one character who's like in the hospital i don't know if that's a male or a female you know like white hair and then there's like we see a girl here 
black haired girl with red eyes i'm not sure who that is and then we see who else we see a few other characters as well like it goes so quickly and then that i'm unable to actually oh another thing we can see here is the command spells are like you know in 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 Ayaka, it's like in her collarbone or not collarbone sorry it's like in her torso and there, there's this other character who had the command spell in his tongue so and the command spell looks obviously different it, it, it the command spells are way bigger here like you know it's like very big unlike like you know like the way the command spells work in fate stay unite where there's like just in the hand a little bit it's quite different here and then there's another scene here which we see like there's two silhouettes talking to each other and one of the characters i think that that sounded like arthur like you know arthur prototype and he was actually talking to a girl um who i think is probably the sister that you know um ayaka was talking about again this is guesswork on my part because it would make sense if like you know like how else would ayaka be able to uh summon saber unless and until like you know sh she had like a relation with saber just like how in fate's day night shiro was able to uh, summon saber because of avalon inside him which was implanted by um uh, kiritsugu into him so i'm guessing just like that you know like that's why she was able to summon saber because you know of avalon and because of the connection so i'm guessing similar something similar happened here as well where probably the girl that we are seeing is somehow related to ayaka which like you know like like and that's why i think it's probably her sister and she i don't know was probably like a previous master and uh, saber was like her contracted servant and after she died, I think, uh, like, you know, she did something to Ayaka, like, you know, probably implanted the Avalon in her, within her. And that's why at the time of her danger, uh, Saber or Arthur Pendragon was summoned. So again, this is guesswork. Like, because I can see a lot of things, a lot of things are actually similar to Face Day Night. You know, like the the major, major plot and like, you know, the major things that have like you know that they probably would have done with fate prototype it's, it's, a, it's a little bit of a modification in fate stay night they're basically the same it's just that fate stay night is a little bit of a modification from that um yeah so that's it that's it guys now obviously most of the things that i said here is something that i guessed uh if i'm wrong about something definitely comment down below because i don't have any problem of getting spoiled because you know like i doubt we're going to get any kind of continuation for this because this this came out a long time ago when did this come out again uh fake prototype this uh ova type of uh prototype let me check fake prototype uh this episode it came out in 2011 yes that's a long time 10 years so i doubt we're going to get any kind of continuation from this or even if we get it it'll be probably way in the future so like just spoil me i i don't care <laughs> and i would really love to like you know know if there is like you know characters that we saw here the characters that we saw here i would really love to know their actual like you know identity especially the girl in the end no wait um you know you know i kind of said that that girl is guinevere I'm wrong because now that I see her, I can see that she has a command spell with her. So I was thinking like maybe Guinevere was like a servant and she just like, you know, like was summoned here. And that's why she was saying that, oh, like, you know, like Arthur is here. Uh, I had faith you'd come back one day. Oh, wait, no. I realized it, who that girl is. That's the same girl that was talking with Arthur uh, in the silhouette okay <laughs> i guess most of my the things that i kind of guessed are wrong because i said that the the silhouette girl in the silhouette was ayaka's sister that's completely wrong i think because ayaka's sister is dead but this girl is still alive 
So I think that's completely wrong. <laughs> yeah, that goes down the drain. So I'm guessing this girl is, you know, she's saying that I had faith you'd come back one day, Arthur. So I'm guessing she was like contracted to Arthur before. And something probably happened and she is like this now, completely crazy or something. So I think that's probably it. And another thing I realized, I was saying that this, this girl is Guinevere because, you know, like Arthur and Guinevere, they're like husband and wife. But now that I think about it properly, I, Guinevere never loved Arthur, you know, so I doubt it, like, you know, like she would be like this, like, you know, like, oh, like Arthur came back. I'm so happy. I doubt she'll be like that. I think like, as far as I know, according to the lore, Guinevere loved um, Lancelot, you know, and that's why the whole like, you know, thing happened, you know, like the whole like Arthur versus Lancelot and all that stuff happened. Like it, they got caught Lancelot and Guinevere and like, you know, like everything went into chaos completely so like yeah that like obviously even if Guinevere comes back as a servant I doubt she'll be like this she'll be happy to like you know meet Arthur I doubt that so yeah like, I wonder if they ac they're actually going to introduce Guinevere in the future as a servant in FGO so yeah anyways that was it damn that was I really enjoyed this you know episode like uh, this little thing that we had here uh, this little small little episode thing so yeah it was good so yeah definitely comment down below things that I was unable to understand and you know like stuff that I should know here like you know like if you have any kind of information let me know in the comment section so that's it and um, I think I think Fate Strange Fake uh, also has a female main character, isn't it? Let me check. Like Fate Strange Fake has main uh, servant is Gilgamesh, isn't it? I think so. So, I, yeah, I think, yeah, I think, um, I think like Fate Strange Fake's main character is also a female, the main master. I would actually love to see a uh, like adaptation of Strange Fake because it would be like a, such a refreshing change to see a female master as the main protagonist, you know, and having Gilgamesh as her servant. I would love that, and that's why like all all the time I've been I I've, I've been really waiting for Strange uh, Fate Strange Fake Fate Strange Fake to get an adaptation. But I know that Fate Strange Fake won't get an adaptation until it is finished or something i think the author said something like that like uh, when the light novel ends after that they'll plan on making the anime adaptation otherwise they won't so like i really hope we get an adaptation of fate strange fake like that's like at the, at the top of my list of adaptations that i want so as i said like it would be a very refreshing thing to actually see a female character as the main protagonist and having like a male servant like gilgamesh and I love Gilgamesh so much, so I'm, I'm really, I'm really like so hyped at the pro, like you know, like thinking about the fact that we might get an adaptation where Gilgamesh will be the main servant, and hopefully it comes quicker, quicker in the future, the adaptation of Strange Fake. But yeah, we'll have to, we'll just have to be patient up until that time. So yeah, that's it guys. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button and subscribe. If you're new to the channel or haven't subscribed, I put out Fate uh, related content, Fate Grand Order related content like this every week, one time or two times. And when new events come in Fate Grand Order, I do gameplays of that as well. If you're interested in them, uh, I'll be linking down in my Fate play playlist in the description box. You can check out my other Fate stuff and um comment down below anything you want to say anything if i like you know, obviously i've made a lot of mistakes in here i'm sure about it so just correct me down the things that i misinterpreted or misunderstood and like i'll definitely check them out and yeah so that's it so and okay as i said like you know within the upcoming weeks i'll probably react to fate grand order the first order and also the other ova as well within the upcoming weeks so i have plans on doing that as well so if you're interested be sure to tune in so that's it. That, that's it guys. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. So until then goodbye and have a nice day.